It is Monday, August 17th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have four pieces of information to cover today, including Sichuan hit by biggest flood in 70 years, Three Gorges downstream, also courtesy of the South China Morning Post, China on alert for Yangtze River flooding as storms close in. Next, courtesy of the Daily Mail, no way, restaurant in China apologizes after asking diners to stand on scales before recommending them dishes based on calorie content. And last, courtesy of Xinhua, sunset scenery of the Three Gorges Dam and Yichang City, Hubei. And we also have some new footage playing in the background of today's video. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And let's have a quick look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam before we get started. Since Sunday, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam has risen to 157.74 meters. The current inflow is listed at 51,600 cubic meters per second, and the dam is currently discharging at 44,200 cubic meters per second. That's a net of 7,400 cubic meters per second into the reservoir. And it is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And our first article is courtesy of Taiwan News. Sichuan hit by biggest flood in 70 years, Three Gorges downstream. And the subheading says Three Gorges Dam braces for number 5 flood days after number 4 flood struck. Sichuan Province, which sits on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, on Monday, August 17th, braced for some of the worst flooding seen in over 70 years, likely to bring the number 5 flood downstream to the beleaguered Three Gorges Dam. After the number 4 flood of the year passed through the Three Gorges Dam on Saturday, August 15th, the Changjiang Water Resources Commission issued an orange flood warning for the Jialing River and its tributary Fu River on the upper reaches of the Yangtze in Sichuan Province on Sunday, August 16th. It predicted that the latest bout of flooding will likely come from the number 5 flood of the year and could come only 2 or 3 days after the previous one. The peak of the number 4 flood on the Yangtze River passed through the Three Gorges Reservoir at around 8 a.m. on the 15th. The water inflow reached 62,000 cubic meters per second, which was higher than the previous three floods of this year. According to local Sichuan media reports, the province has seen a new round of torrential rainfall since August 10th. During this period, the local meteorological bureau in Sichuan issued an orange rainstorm warning on two consecutive days for the first time this year. The rainstorm covered 12% of Sichuan province, causing 41 rivers in the territory to exceed the warning level. Of these, 22 rivers exceeded the so-called safe level, which is currently set at twice the level of floodwaters seen during the flood season last year. Authorities predict that the flood will peak on Monday afternoon. It is estimated that the water level of Xingdu's Jitang County, which is located on the upper reaches of the Tuo River, will exceed the safe level by 3.85 meters and maximum peak discharge will climb to 8,200 cubic meters per second, setting a new record since the founding of Communist China 71 years ago. Judging from the historical records of the Jintang Hydrological Station, since 1949 the highest flow rate recorded was 8,100 cubic meters per second in 1981. If it reaches 8,200 cubic meters per second this time, it means that the flood peak will set an all-time record, reported news.sena.com. Neijiang City, Zhejiang County, on the middle reaches of the Tuozhang River, is also expected to face the peak of the flooding at 4 p.m. In response, local authorities have evacuated more than 3,000 people, half of the local population. At present, the road leading to Guaizhen has been flooded and the town has become an island. It is predicted that as water levels continue to rise, three quarters of the town could become inundated. Local media reported that the dike in the Mingtai Reservoir area of Shenzhen in Meiyang City's Santai County was in danger early Monday morning. The local water resources agency quickly evacuated more than 5,000 people from the area. 
And our next article comes courtesy of the South China Morning Post. China on alert for Yangtze River flooding as storms close in. Heavy rain is expected across China's southwest, northwest, and northeast in the next three days, raising flood risks and pressure on dams, weather forecasters have warned. The Ministry of Water Resources urged local authorities to be on alert, particularly along the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and the middle reaches of the Yellow, Hei, Songhua, and Liao Rivers. The National Meteorological Center said Sichuan Province in the country's southwest would be particularly hard hit, with up to 300 millimeters, that's 11.8 inches of rain forecast for Monday. Between 30 and 50 millimeters of rain is expected to fall per hour in the provinces of Yunnan, Gansu, Shanxi, Hebei, Inner Mongolia, and Heilongjiang, rising to over 70 millimeters an hour in some scattered areas. Water Resources Minister Yi Jinping said the Three Gorges Dam and others in the upper reaches of the Yangtze should release water precisely to prevent floods. Upstream dams should take on as much water as possible to erase pressure on the Three Gorges Dam, he said. The lower reaches of the Yangtze are still recovering from heavy flooding last month that affected a large part of southeastern China. In all, 219 people have died or are missing in this year's floods, and more than 63 million residents have been affected. The minister said authorities should also pay attention to the possible floods along the Hei, Liao, Songhua, Wei, and Yellow Rivers, and step up safety checks to ensure new flood defenses built on the Wei River in Shaanxi Province would hold. The country southwest has been ordered to be alert for landslides and mudslides. In Chongqing, the water level at one monitoring station along the river is expected to exceed the safe level by about one meter on Tuesday night, Xinhua reported. According to national regulations, floods are designated at critical levels once the water exceeds the safety level. Conditions are expected to be worse along the Jialing River, a tributary that joins the Yangtze in Chongqing with water at one monitoring station forecast to rise 2.5 to 3.5 meters higher than the safety level on Tuesday morning. In the northwest, Luyang County in Shanxi Province ordered residents living in ground floor housing to move to upper floors to avoid fast-moving floods. The government has allocated primary and middle schools as emergency shelters and set up tents there, Shanghai-based news site ThePaper.CN reported. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And I wanted to include this article as a bit of a follow-up to last week's reports on China's new Clean Plate initiative. And this comes courtesy of the Daily Mail. No way! Restaurant in China apologizes after asking diners to stand on scales before recommending them dishes based on calorie content. A restaurant in China has apologized for its controversial policy of asking diners to weigh themselves before entry in an overzealous response to a new national campaign against food waste. The beef restaurant in the central city of Changsha was heavily criticized on Chinese social media as soon as it unveiled the policy on Friday. Customers were asked to stand on scales and scan their data into an app that recommended food choices based on their weight and the dish's calorific value, according to a report by the state-run China News Service. Last week, President Xi Jinping urged the nation to stop wasting food, as the pandemic and serious flooding in the last month have led to a rise in food prices. In response, regional catering groups have urged customers to order one dish fewer than the number of diners at a table, an attempt to overturn the ingrained cultural habit of ordering extra food for group meals. Signs were displayed in the beef restaurant reading, Be thrifty and diligent, promote empty plates, and operation empty plate, referring to the nationwide campaign according to photos published in local media. In a swift backlash, hashtags related to the incident have been viewed over 300 million times on the social media platform Weibo. The restaurant said it was deeply sorry for its interpretation of the anti-waste campaign. Our original intentions were to advocate stopping waste and ordering food in a healthy way. We never forced customers to weigh themselves, it said in an apology posted online on Saturday morning. 
Chinese state media has also waged war on viral binge eating videos, while live streaming platforms have promised to shut down accounts promoting excess eating and food wastage. And our last piece of information is courtesy of Xinhua, Sunset Scenery of Three Gorges in Yichang City, Hubei. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.